here. I'm out walking in the rain. It's kind of stormy, but I like it. I love storms. I like thunder and lightning and big snowstorms. And I just think storms are really fun. But sometimes storms can get too big and then they're not fun anymore. Like the one in the Bible when Jesus and the disciples were sailing across the lake. Now, Jesus' disciples were fishermen and they had probably been on the lake a lot with various storms. But this day, they were getting worried, they were getting scared and they were feeling like their boat was gonna sink. But the disciples forgot one main thing. They forgot who was in the back of the boat. They were worried and frightened and scared and finally they thought, we've gotta wake up Jesus, we gotta tell him. So they went and got Jesus and he stood up and he said, peace, be still. And the waves and the wind, it all stopped. Could you imagine having a friend who is powerful enough to, to look at the waves and say, stop, and, and they would? Now, I love storms, but I don't love storms that happen inside me. When I'm thinking too much about something and, and my thoughts just go round and around, or when I'm worried about somebody and my shoulders just get tight, or when I'm thinking too hard and, and maybe worried about a test or a thing coming up and my stomach gets all twisty, those kind of storms are no fun. But you know what? Sometimes when I'm in those storms, I forget something. I forget who's in the back of the boat. I forget that Jesus is with me and I can rely on him. He is powerful, powerful enough to tell waves to stop and powerful enough to walk with me through stressful times. Jesus never promised us that we wouldn't have troubles and hard times, but he did promise us a guided tour that he would walk with us through everything that happens. But it's not like when the disciples had him in the back of the boat and they could just turn around and talk to him. We have the Holy Spirit with us, which is different than Jesus just asleep in the back. So how can we connect with Jesus when we have stormy times in our lives? Well, there's a couple good ideas. Uh, one way we connect with Jesus today and he helps us through storms is by reading the scriptures, opening up Psalms or Proverbs or Jesus's own story in the gospels and listening to his own words that often calm us down and give us direction. Sometimes things just pop out and are highlighted in the scriptures as if Jesus was saying right there, that's the thing to pay attention to. You know the one, Psalm 56, three, when I am afraid, I will trust in you. Other times we just need to take a deep breath and close our eyes and listen for the still small prompting of, of ideas that Jesus impresses on our hearts of action to take or just that he's with us and we're gonna make it through. Sometimes we can find Jesus in music, in songs or in songs that, or scriptures that we know, like the one you guys memorized this week. So think about it this week as you're going through storms, remember that Jesus is with you and he promises to see you through. Till next time.